Good morning, day two, and it's the first day that we're going to be doing some actual touring. Yesterday we were just uh, riding up here, so today we're doing a, a route called the Amazing Alnwick. It's one that I've adapted from um, the Simon Weir books, Bikers Britain. It's uh, 161 miles, um, incorporating Holy Island, and uh, we're going to reminisce and go to a little pub that we used to use when we stayed up in Berwick on Tweed one year. But um, yeah, I'll show you the map and uh, you can see the route we're going to be taking and then you can ride along with us. Enjoy. In a bit. Yeah, this is today's route guys. It's called the Amazing Alnwick. It's 161 miles. It's been adapted from the Bikers Britain book. It's route 43 on page 110. If anybody wants to look at it and if they've got the Bikers Britain book. But we're starting down here at the bottom. Cresswell, riding up the coast. We're going to go across the causeway onto Hawley Island and uh, Lindisfarne. Come back, go up to the top. Up here, we stayed on one of our tours. I'm going to call it the uh, Contented Soul pub that we used to frequent quite a lot when we was in Berwick on Tweed. Across the top, and then head down some lovely roads back home. So, saddle up, join us, and enjoy the ride. Cheers now. Yeah, so this is the first route, people, uh, of the new tour. Oh, it's not far, that cafe, is it? No. I'll have a walk there in the morning. Yeah, full English. Get a, get a coffee. <laughs> The actual route is uh, 120 miles, but uh, obviously we've got to get to it from where we are based. Oh, gypsy caravan there, look. Yeah. An horse. And cob. Cob, sorry, John, yeah. Just riding along the seafront at the minute. <coughs> That'll be the big sand dunes Muzzy was on about on the right. Yeah. Certainly warm enough, happy people. We're at 23 degrees with mine. The hell are these little pod things on the right? Wonder if you rent them. Ah, they must be like little glamping pods. Yeah. Right, happy people, we're just joining the A1068, heading north. That's the A1068. Hey, look. look at this. Jesus, Jesus Christ. Jesus. Bloody hell. Fire. What an idiot. I can't believe some of the idiots around here. That's unbelievable. That was nearly head on, that. Look, there's a load of cyclists coming in now. They're turning right here anyway now. Look at these tractors. That guy was just... That was blind, that. He did yeah, he just went, yeah, he just went blind. That was mental. And up ahead, we can just see Walkworth Castle. Get a better view of it the closer we get. I think that's a near enough ride past it. Yeah, this is the place of Walkworth, hence the name. Walkworth Castle. There we are on the left, look, Walkworth Castle. Lovely. Nice little place, walk with and all, isn't it? It is, isn't it? Yeah. Rather quaint. Yeah, we're actually doing this one, happy people, on a Saturday. So we don't know how busy it's going to be. I don't, we was a bit sort of dubious about what uh, Holy Island will be like on a weekend. Yeah, real nice place, too. Yeah, just going over the River Coquette or something. Very nice. Oh, cock. Always had to bring the tone down, John, don't you? <laughs> this is lovely riding through here.
still on the A1068. We're just going to turn right at this circle and we're going to be moving on to the B1339 for those of you following. See how's this 16 miles? Thought it was going straight on there, John. What the hell's Muzzy done? Why has he gone straight on? Yeah, because he was up he's too far up your he sticks right up your ass. We've lost him. I'll have to find a place where I can pull over. He'll, he'll know where to come back, won't he? He'll catch us up anyway. I don't think he will. We're going to be a fair bit in front of him, aren't we? Is the other bike still behind you, John? Yeah. yeah I've got that on camera as well. That was funny, that. <laughs> right, he's coming. Is it? We yeah, yeah. Is it? It's Muzzy you're talking about, isn't it? True. He'll get to stick his boot down a bit now. He'll probably have enjoyed that, actually. He will. Who's behind me then, Russ? Yeah. He's coming. Has he gone past you? Yeah. <laughs> the flying top box. <laughs> We've now merged onto the B1340. Not quite know when we did that, but the sat nav's telling me now that we are on the B1340. Just arriving at sea houses. Well, that looks a nice place on the right. Well, it's a quite a nice place, this. It is. I don't think there'll be any parking spaces, but... Oh, motorcycles, I've just passed it. I think you had a pay, Russ. Oh, no. We best not stop. No, but if we can just stop and have ten minutes like this, can't we? And I then agree. Aye. It looked, looked a lovely little place as we rode through it. There's Bamba Castle. Yeah. There's Holy Island. Yeah. Holy Island. I might bring my bike over this end. Yeah, the sea houses further up that way yeah, and then on the that. beach there's them boats out of the boat houses. Maybe turn up to a boat. Yeah, there's only that tiny little harbour, isn't there? And then there's no tell. We stayed for We saw it all within an hour, me and my missus. Smile. Who was you saying smile to? Smile. I've got my glove on, John, it won't work my phone, so I just say smile and it takes a picture. Oh, I'm right. just taking another one of this grass. I thought he was doing selfies. Smile. People in the sea, look, whatever next, look, swimming. That's a bit fresh. I don't think I'd want to be swimming in it. Why? Look, it's clean up here. When you went round the car, I thought, oh, She's pulled over to let you pass. And then I saw, I thought, shit, there's a bend there. I couldn't, I didn't see that. I was looking at the road ahead. Because I you couldn't see because of the car and you. I thought, I ain't going to get round there. <laughs> straight. Use the escape route. Yeah, it's a good job no coming, isn't it, really? Yeah, a little stop off at Seahouse Houses there. Now up ahead, that's giving you a cracking view of Bamba Castle. Sat up on the hill there. We actually visited that when we stayed up here at uh, Berwick on Tweed that year. Yeah, that's a really good view for you. It is, isn't it? Fantastic. It's bloody ginormous. Oh, even better view. Look, we're just riding right past it now. Wow. Simply stunning. Magnifico. I'm just now going to fork right onto the B1342. I think we head up into Scotland, don't we, today? Yes, today we enter Scotland, yeah. Well, it's certainly enjoyable roads to ride, I'll give it that. 
Yeah, traffic's not that bad. No, we're going on to the A1 North in a minute, so I'm going to turn my camera off, John. Right. Until we get close to uh, Orly Island. No really happening on the A1 for nine miles. And then back on for the uh, causeway over to Holy Island. But they're not queuing her out to come down here, are they? So some nice looking pubs and stuff. Yeah, they are, aren't they? So we're now on the road, folks, to Holy Island. Caution, check crossing times. Now that's something that I did before we came, happy people. There's a website, I'll put a link up for you. And you go on it and it gives you, uh, I mean, it was a month before we was coming and uh, I put in our dates and it told you the times. You've got two openings, one in the day, one at night. Well, depending on how the tides are, I suppose. But today it's like 10 o'clock while 6 o'clock you can get on and off the island. And, um, and then there's one in the night as well. Here we are, look, this is the causeway. Oh, wow. Yeah, I don't think you can get to it any other way, Steve, looking at it. That would have come. I mean, all this, you, you can't believe it, can you, that all this will be covered in sea water. Yeah. Do not proceed when water reaches the causeway. No brainer, really. It obviously doesn't get that deep, does it? Uh, everything's covered, John. Yeah, but I mean, it's not that deep, though, is it? When it's underwater. Oh, I don't know how deep it gets above this road. I bet it's only a couple of feet or something. Maybe. It's. Well, this is quite amazing, really. It's like we're riding through a desert or something. All sand around us. Something on the bucket list ticked off again now? Yeah, this must be that way you've made it oh, here. Oh, this, this, is, this is that car park here what you're supposed to park in. I don't think you're allowed to go any further. I thought you said you can get to a church or something. Like, well, there's cars going to further, isn't there? Yeah, but it says here, entry to village restricted 300 yards ahead. What do you want to do? Carry on? There's some other vehicles going on. I would. Go have a look. There's a few bikes up here. That's very nice. Oh, yeah, there's a disabled park here. Can you park down there anywhere? We won't do it in there. Can you park in there? Motorbikes? We did. There's no sign saying you can. And how long was you in there? An hour. An hour? Yeah, we'll give you a little tour of uh, Linda's farm a little bit. Yeah, well at least we've done it. Yes, we've shown the happy people the crossing of the uh, causeway and uh, a little bit of Linda's farm. Tell you what, fair play to people who walk across, John. To be truthful, it's a bloody long way, isn't it? It is, yeah. You can see them over there in the on, in halfway across, can't you? Yeah, and you'll get wet be... feet as well. Yeah, but I bet it's longer doing it that way. So I bet it's a good four, five, six miles walking. Anybody who's done it and knows the distance, let me know. Bit tight. Oh, it is, isn't it? Didn't say which way I had priority, though. Still on a bike, you can get past them, can't you? Yeah, that's another experience conquered. Join us, happy people. A bit further on, about another eight, nine miles further on on the A1. We're going to be turning off shortly to uh, return to one of our old points, haunts, the uh, Contented Soul Pub. We're in Scotland now, happy people. We just passed the border on the A1, but I didn't have my camera running. But uh, we are now in Scotland, Bonnie Scotland. 
we're going to go down the uh, A1107 towards Eymouth, which is the place that we stayed at. One tour, if you remember, and if you've seen that series. Russ, could you go back a little bit and I'll just park in front of everybody? What, like it pixelated or something? Yeah, I'm in there. I wonder if it's free. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm not paying anything. <laughs> That idiot nearly went into me, did you see? No. And then she oh, waved at me. And this guy and all, what's with them? So, that one. Bloody idiots. They can't pull out, can they? No. I'd have got it on video though, your first one. Thanks. Shit. Bad pothole well, there. Are you with it? Yeah. Bloody thing. Yeah, we're still on the A1107. Cooled off a little bit, 23 degrees. Nice bit of road. Yeah, this is. Not much traffic. And what is it? Not a lot of traffic? No. That's what we want. Enjoy the route. Well, that's a nice view as you come over that hill. Yeah, it's good that opens up, doesn't it? Yeah, Jesus. beautiful. Look at that ahead. Wow. That's beautiful. If we're next <laughs> to the sea, surely we can't be going across. Well, yeah, I know that. That's weird, that, isn't it? Yeah, we must be still going up. Yeah, that's a lovely view, that. Yeah, it is superb. And a lovely sweeping road it's as like well, isn't it? It's like a drone view. Great road, John. Hey? Great road. Oh, it is, yeah. Now we're just going back on the A1 for a little while. After just a little short burst on the A1, we're just going to uh, hang a right, turning onto the A6112 towards Coldstream. On this road for about 13 miles now. Well, Mr. Weir has done it again. These roads are lovely. Enjoying it, John? Yeah, it's been good. Surrounded by stunning scenery as well. Oh, wowzer, 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 this bugger. Fantastic.
He's just recognised me, John. <laughs> oh, shit. It's left here, but it said closed, didn't it? Yeah. Follow the diversion, maybe. They're all going down there. Up. It said close and we're supposed to go down there. Where are we off to the car? Let's have a look down here. Bloody brilliant this road, why do they have to bloody stop us? I like one, great road up there. That's fantastic that. Ben's bloody brilliant. Mine's saying go up there and it brings you back out on this road again. All my mileage is now, my crib sheet will be wrong like, but... <laughs> Are we still on for that cafe then, are we? Uh, yes, we should be. Looks like a right to uh, track to track, John. Yeah, bit of gravel in the middle. It's an adventure. Yeah, happy people, we're back on the A6112 after a massive diversion of about 30 bloody miles, sending us well west and then back east. But now we're back on track and we're going to be uh, taking a very sharp left onto the A698. Yeah, I don't know what it is of, but it's one large monument. And then we're going to take another, and we're going to add a right to the circle and we're going to go to the A697. Back on the route now. Nice big bridge. Yeah, we're just now on the A697. Just heading towards a cafe that we were supposed to be at very much earlier than what we're going to be. Shuts at four o'clock. He's telling me we're going to get there at 3:47. This isn't a bad road, is it, Steve? No, it's good, isn't it? A nice road. Good surface and all. Yeah. It's just a beer, isn't it? Yeah. Might sit on the right. Not it. Hopefully we'll get a drink. Oh, there's only... That'll do, Russ. You got safe standing there. Yeah, you're all right, aren't you? Yeah, it should be all right. Yeah, nice little cafe that. Yeah, it was nice. <clears throat> and we're still on the A697, heading south. God. Once again, the roads are superb. Absolutely brilliant.
still 24 degrees. Yeah, mine's exactly the same, John, 24 degrees. Been a cracking day, hasn't it, weather-wise? Yeah, and I've had it peeing it down. I think it's, is it raining tomorrow? Uh, tea time, on it? It might have altered though now. It's a good job we didn't do the keel to water one then today, yeah. innit? Yeah. Might smell wood. I can see it all cut up on the yeah. left there, look. Well, I must admit, John, when I looked on the uh, route, I thought this uh, coming back road was going to be uh, kind of like maybe slightly boring, but they've been bloody good, haven't they? Yeah, they have. They've been all right. Coburn. Weird name. Look at the views here, man alive. See for bloody miles. I think we've actually finished the... Uh, Simon Weir part of it now. I think this is just the bit I just uh, did just to get us back to the campsite now. So I hope you've enjoyed that everybody, following up, riding along with us. There's an alpaca here. Hello mate. We've got five miles to go while we're home. I won't uh, take you back into the campsite, you've seen it. So thanks for watching and uh, look out for the next one. Cheers now. Adios. Amigo. <laughs>